What did Three Eggs say to Taylor Swift? I'm let you finish. <laughs> Get it? I'm gonna let you fin, but I'm let you fin because they're eggs. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to GTE 3 and to your favorite Taylor Swift impersonator. I'm doing the hair again. I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm digging it or not, but it's here to stay. So oh, I had to go back home and change because I want to do Jimmy Pecorino's mission. I, in the previous episode, I'm not sure if I told you, but we got a message from, huh? Who's, who's this? Hold on. Um, what you been up to, Nico? Me been drinking. Hold on, I can't see. <laughs> Fucking rubbing and doing rails. Let's catch up properly. Who's this though? I think that was Brucey. Nope. Packy. Okay. Uh, yes. Yeah, so we got a call from uh, Francis telling us to meet him, but I want to do Jimmy Pecorino's mission yet because it like kind of ties up with the um, Gary mission, right? Because we were talking about him and all that. So, yeah. But I remember me going there, and I think the game sent me back because I didn't have the proper shoes on or something and you have to have shoes and I don't know a good fit on you basically so that's where we're at I'm gonna steal this car and head to Jimmy Pecorino so make sure you leave a like and subscribe and let's get into it oh Bruce is calling as well no sorry man I can't go drinking right now <laughs> All right, Nico, I'll hang with somebody. I mean, I don't really want to hang out with him, and I know I got thumbs down, and I should have accepted and then called back, but I, at the end of the day, I can't be bothered. Um, I can't remember. You guys told me what perks I get from him. Or did you, from Brucey, by being friends with him, but I can't remember. So Dwayne actually gives you, like, backup if you ever need it, but <laughs> knowing me, I'll never call for it. Obviously, having Kiki as a girlfriend, law chick, um, gives you the perk with the police. Um, little Jacob gives you uh, cheaper ammo, even though it's not really that cheap. And I have tons of money, really, because uh, you don't buy, um, you don't invest in properties in this game. So I, I literally do not know what to do with all this money that I've got at the moment. And uh, so, yeah, money's not an issue, especially, in, you know not for buying guns and stuff like that so I don't really need that either so but Roman's good I guess but there's literally taxis everywhere so meh I don't know <laughs> yeah I'm here to see Mr. Pegorino well I didn't think you were here to sell me insurance so you here to work for him shoot him or arrest him or maybe all three it's okay Mrs. P I'll deal with this yeah I'm in a life-threatening situation and I'm having a conversation here. He could have killed me. You're useless. Organized crime, my ass. With guys like you, no wonder this organization is doing so wonderfully. She's off the rails. You Nick? Come on. Come on. Peg. What? Someone for you. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, were you followed? I don't think so. Oh. I mean, who knows? Exactly. I mean, we can pretty much guarantee you were followed. The question is, did you know about it? And right now, I don't know the answer to that question. Right. But to be honest, I don't really care neither. Okay. Enough about you, your cousin, your friends. I know a lot of people around you end up in jail. Some maybe. But that's the same all over town. This is a dying game. I don't understand. I mean, I'm going to ask you to deal with a problem, and you're going to deal with it. Or you're not going to deal with it, and you're going to be a problem that somebody else has to deal with. But me, I ain't right. doing nothing. Yes, okay. So what's the problem? We'll get to that. Anthony! Yo! Did Bill call? <laughs> not yet, boss. Ray called. <sighs> of course he did. I wonder, is it better to have a talented snake? Or a stork a lion is gonna be cut down in his prime. I don't know. What do you think? I don't understand what you're talking about. <laughs> you yeah. do. But I ain't gonna push. Anthony, get in here. Boss. Doesn't want to get rid of Ray then. Marco, on their way. 
Listen to me. Here's what the plan is. Me and two of my guys are gonna meet with a couple of boys from the Pavano family. God, how many families are there? These guys, if we're ever gonna be taken serious, you know, get on the commission. Now the thing is, these guys ain't, shall we say, shown us the appropriate respect in the past. I want you to run security. Of course. Keep an eye on things, because they won't be looking out for you. Mm-hmm. Ah, here they are. See them and the cops. It's them. They're outside. Looks like Ray's here too. I know it's them. God, give me strength. <laughs> I'll be on in a minute. Look after Ray till I get back. Go on, give hey, me Tony. strength. Hey, Ray. I need to speak with Pedro. Hey, what, what are you doing? He's, he's busy. Hey, Nico. <laughs> oh, boss. Salve. Shut up. I'm sorry, boss. This guy's everywhere like a freaking cockroach or something, huh? <laughs> in a good way. Ray, you and me. In a good way. The boss has got business. Yeah. Uh, boss, I got you this. Because I care. You boys have fun. God, it's shitty finding yourself in that situation because I was like that. Um, obviously not with mob bosses or anything. I don't know if they're gonna talk, so I'm just gonna keep quiet. Where are we going? Are we waiting for him? Oh, we are. Okay. What are you waiting for? Hit it! Let's go! Drive to the old refinery. Right, let's see what he says. If he even says anything. They usually have some sort of stories. Um, you but... You guys all friends now? See? <laughs> nice. You best hope you made a good first impression on Nico, boys. He's gonna be the one looking out for you during this meet. Well... He's being paid to look out for me, so saving you guys' asses will be overtime. <laughs> That's just if the shit goes down, right, boss? The battles wouldn't fuck with you. Break up, you fucking mook. Everybody's trying to fuck everybody. We're just hoping they got the manners to smile to our faces before they do it. You giving them a nice little offering, though, Skip? They ain't gonna turn up their noses at that. God, give me strength. <laughs> I'm with children here. No wonder I ain't on a commission when my muscle is this stupid. If the Pavanos is a Liberty City family, what are they doing coming out to Alderney for this meet? I let them operate out here from time to time. The Pavanos work a little shy business on this side of the West River. They also control a few bookies. I don't mind them taking a bite. I don't even make them give me a taste. Hopefully they're gonna respect that when it comes time to ask a them for a favor. Right. Can't be too confident if you've got me here. Their insurance. I'm the captain of this ship because I look at every possibility. Check to make sure my ass is covered in each situation. I think about what's gonna happen if this guy screws me, if this one turns states, and so on. That's why you're the boss, boss. Shut up! Jesus, you're worse than my mother. Anyways, <laughs> that's why Ray ain't ever gonna make it to the level he wants to reach. He's too oh. busy thinking about himself. That diamond fuck up his case in point. I'm like a fucking chess player. You're covering me for six moves ahead when me and the Pavanos is just putting our first pawns out there on a checkerboard. Huh. I like what you did there, Skip. Real clever. Can you do me a favor? Can you just shoot yourself to save me the trouble of doing it? Can you, Marco? Jesus! Why so rude, man? <laughs> He's just trying to be friends. <laughs> I feel bad for that Marco guy. Oh, God. This does look dodgy. Shit's gonna go down here for sure. Give him the rifle, Marco! You expect him to start throwing empty cans from there if this thing kicks off? No way, Skip. Here you go. Okay. Go up into that building. There should be a spot where you can see over to me. Don't start shooting unless they attack us. I don't want this thing screwed up for no good reason. Right. Okay, how do we get up there? Yeah, how am I gonna get up there? Is there any stairs or anything? Because I can't see. I can't see! And this place is huge! And it's dark! I literally cannot see. Is this where my see what I mean? I mean you you can see what I mean. 
Oh my god, how do I climb? There's gotta be some other way. Oh. Obviously the mission's not gonna start until I do it. Oh, but, but how do I do it? It's a different question. How do I, how do I, how? How? Oh, fuck me, fuck me. <laughs> this is how. Never mind. All right, let's go upstairs. Oh, there's a something there. Hold up. Hold up your horses. Mm -hmm. Somebody just left some ammo hanging around. And don't mind if I do. I didn't see it. Okay, don't give me a hard time. I just didn't see it because the door was like half opened, half like falling over. And I thought it was just like a dead end. I thought we had to climb from the outside, you know, because... By the end of the day, we have to get on the rooftop, I think. Well, kinda. Not really. Let's see now. God, how many times am I gonna replay this mission? Loads, I bet loads. I usually mess up stuff like this, so... I just have to keep my eye on all of them. Fuck no. Oh my god, I'm missing every shot. Are you kidding me? I am I'm hating this thumbstick. And there's a guy here, right? Okay. I can't take him out because he's just fucking. Oh my god, I knew it! I just couldn't get that guy! Fuck this game! What a start to an episode, right? <laughs> Alright, guys, here we go again. I'm gonna zoom in as close as I can and try and get that guy at the back first, I guess. But the other guys. <laughs> They die for sure, so there's no point in doing that. So, just try to aim my bestest. <laughs> Is that a thing? Just because, obviously. Oh my god, and now this guy, I can't... I just can't aim. Yes! Woo! Fuck yeah, baby. I'm going down, I'm going down. Before more of them come, I don't even know if more of them are gonna come, but... Oh god. What was that? What the fuck was that? No, and I'm quite out in the open here. I don't really think it's a good idea where to stay where I am, but whatever. Where the fuck is this guy? What? Is there more? Because I can't see. Let's go. Come on. There's definitely one more guy there. Oh, him. Okay, never mind. Ah! 
Okay, I'm gonna try and go closer. We got this guy surrounded. He's a fucking dead man. But I don't know where my guy is. Move in on him. Go on. Move in on me. I don't give a shit. Okay, I can't. I don't know where they are. The <laughs> I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Never mind. I didn't realize how many <laughs> there are. <laughs> Come, on, there. Come on, Nico. So there's one right behind the door. Okay. I don't know. I love watching their faces. Is that the our guy talking? Is he here? Where is he? Shit, 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 shit. Okay, I I don't know. <laughs> I just went for it. The fucking Pavanos! If the rest of the commission knew they did this, I'm sure the whole city will be up in arms. The motherfuckers trying to whack me at a sit down! I was about to say, are they gonna let us go so easily? Trying to make off with my tribute. The oh. fucking nerve! We're gonna ice those fucks, Nico. Oh, are we? Because I thought you were dying or something. All right, let's get these slime ball bastards. People like that give Italians a bad day. Oh my god! Whatever happened to the honor society and all that shit? Can't say I know. They didn't even send a fucking cop out. Oh my god! Oh my god! Don't fucking make me lose this. I saw it through the scope on that rifle. We're gonna get that gift back and make this crew pay for their disrespect. Come on! Okay, I think they're gonna do a break. Yeah, there they are. I think the police are gonna be on our asses. We better not be getting whacked. I'm not trying to get whacked. I'm trying to whack them. I already uh obviously deflated one of their tires, Shit! so Watch the road! Ha! Shit, come on, they can't go too fast. But this car's not that great. No, I'm not. I'm just following the track. The dumb fucks have crashed. Go get my gift and make those pricks pay. There we go. We got it, guys. We Here got go. him. You're a good earner, Nico. Take me back to my place. Right. Let's see how we uh, get out of here. I'm just gonna follow the yellow line. Because <laughs> I have no... You're dead. Thank you very much. Can't That's what you that deserve. Treat me like this. Why not? It's Mafia. Well... Even if it don't, an Algonquin. They better not think of crossing that West River and not looking over their shoulders. Too bad about Marco and Pete. Marco and Pete? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. These guys didn't make it, did they? Well, too fucking bad. They knew what they were signed on for. Mm, did they? They planning on the way out, were they? No, they weren't. Happy to be on board with the skipper. Yeah, what is well, happening? they seemed like good kids. Ah, these kids come and go. It ain't worth paying attention to them until they prove they can survive. I just move on and hire some wannabe wise guys off the street. It's that simple? Ask to be. I only start paying attention to my crew when they start putting me in an awkward position. Either oh. Because they know too much in my rat, or because they got too much power and they're too smart to get themselves clipped. Right. Ray was nothing to me until he started earning big and sticking his nose in places it didn't belong. Rats seem to get everywhere you don't want them to be. Only way you know is by finding their shit all over the place in the morning. <laughs> different. He's been my man for a while. I mean, how much can I do with a guy who ain't a full Italian? He's 90% Irish. It don't do too well for the reputation of us Pecorinos. Haven't I think Patrick I'm going too fast. <laughs> our organization. To see the respect we're getting out on the street? Jesus. Yeah. I've seen the respect you get on the street. 
which is no respect at all, to be honest. Um, this guy is not a good guy, so uh, he doesn't care about anybody but himself. And he was talking about Ray not putting, uh, putting himself first instead of he's exactly like Ray. They're both scumbags, and they both deserve to die, in my opinion. I mean, all mobs. Death to all mobs, in my opinion. <laughs> That was a bit dark, sorry. But it's still true. Like, a life of crime is n not a good life, I guess. Not in these games, anyway. Might be better in the real world. <laughs> how, good, how good can Up it be? Ahead, when everyone else was losing theirs. Sometimes, literally. We're gonna need your skills again soon. Arrivederci. Arrivederci. I don't know if I'm gonna come back, but um, I bet the game's gonna make me. Because <laughs> otherwise we won't progress the mission, right? Um, okay, yep, still have time to do stuff. What time is it? Okay, um, well, the only mission that we have and can do is this uh, Francis mission, so. I'll meet you guys there. Okay, you guys, we're here. I just took a taxi. I just took a DNA test, turns out. I took a text. No. <sighs> Why didn't you tell me Derek was back? What? Why didn't you tell me you was hanging around with my brother? I assumed if you cared, you'd have found out. Well, I have found out. Jesus. You know Derek's not well. No shit. No? No. He's sick. He always was. He's always off getting involved in someone else's fight. Making a fool of himself, betraying people, going into hiding. He's an idiot and a coward. It's not my business. Whatever he stood for, he betrayed. He only left here in the first place because he was caught stealing from the mafia. He's Yikes. A wretch. Okay, I got it, so. Now, he's gonna ruin my life. If it wasn't bad enough having a bunch of crooks for brothers, now I've got him threatening to talk to a journalist. About his family! About me! Well, tell him to be quiet! I am trying to become the commissioner of police. I'd be a laughing stock. A cop with a famous snitching traitor for a brother. Ugh. You know, the crooks I can handle. See, that I can spin. But not this. Not this. Uh, you got the big problem then. Me? <laughs> ah, we, my friend. We. You stop it. <coughs> stop? Stop. Kill your brother. He's already dead. That's Just fucked up, man. His misery. Fuck you. No, fuck you, pal. I'm gonna meet him in the courtyard park off Bismarck and Lansing. Deal with him. Make him a tragedy. Disaster. Do it, or I will put you away. Oh, don't push me. He's as bad as all of them. He's as bad as all of them, literally. Uh, it's not even funny. If I had. If I have the option, I kind of want Derek going to. Bismarck Avenue. To be alive. Oh, Derek's calling. Nico, thank fuck you, Ant. Frankie arranged to meet me at this park on Bismarck. I think he's gonna try to kill me. Can't you kill who they like? You know the place? Are you close? Can you get there in time? I think I can Don't make me you. choose. You gotta take him out before he makes it. <gasps> this is Cain and Abel stuff, I'm telling you. The question is, which one of us is gonna be wandering the earth with a mark on his head? <laughs> no! 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 I don't want. I hate decisions. It's like Playboy X and Dwayne. I don't like it. I'm gonna take this time. I'm not gonna skip. I'm gonna take this time and think about it. Right. So, McCreary's <sighs> talking about. <sighs> oh my God! We're calling Francis now. Hold up. Francis, I'm ready. What is the plan? I hope you got over yourself and are ready for some fratricide. Don't forget that I still got dirt on you. I know this ain't nice, but neither of us has a choice. 
It's sounding like I got no choice. One McCreary brother is going to get me to kill another. That's what I like to hear. I want you to take the window cleaning elevator on one of the buildings around back of the courtyard. Get in position and put Derek out of his misery. Shit, I better get ready to act surprised. Don't miss, Nico. You might hit me. I'll hit who I'm aiming at. Don't worry. I'll hit who I'm aiming at. Ah, oh, deep down. Listen, deep down. I just feel like I need to kill Francis. Because he has so much dirt on me. And he's going to keep... Ha he's... You know, having dirt on me, and he—he, he, I can't talk. He's gonna keep do, making me do stuff for him because of that. And whilst Derek, you know, he's a maniac and stuff like that, and he does drugs, yes, and he's not, you know, in in his right mind. <laughs> just, you God, sorry, lady, sorry. It's just my drone. Nice booty. Anyway, that was a bit misogynistic. Can I? Can I be? Because I'm a woman. I don't know. Anyway. Yes. Uh, tell me what did you choose in your playthrough? I'm gonna choose Francis. So I'm gonna skip because I made my decision. It's choosing the lesser evil. Because they're both evil. But the mo the one that's gonna affect me the most is Francis. So I just... <sighs> I am gonna kill him. Right, so how do I get up? Do I climb? Use the window cleaning platform? Where is it? Oh, okay, I see it. Cool. Okay, I'm pretty sure I have a sniper rifle on me, so... All right, let's go! Okay. Oh, I thought it was gonna be really high up. Oh. All right, let me get my... Yeah, there it is. Here you go, you guys. Here you go. Moment of truth. Whew. Derek, my brother! Frankie, what's this about? I've got to say, I'm nervous about this little meeting. Shit, when I heard you was back, I nearly shot myself. Sit down. Why didn't you call me? You could have slept on my couch. I'm doing real well for myself. Real well. I'm sorry about how life turned out for you. How are you, though? Can I kill both? What would have happened? Oh god. Police is coming? Is it the police? I feel like I could potentially be the police. Put my gun away. Okay. Do we go call Derek or what do we do? Give me the car. Give me the car! It didn't work. That did, that did not work. Okay. I don't know. I'm just afraid that the cops are coming after me for some reason. Even though I don't have a wanted level. <sighs> okay. Maybe Derek's going to call us or something. Or no? Do we call him? Oh, there we go. We're calling him. You don't know the half. <laughs> last bit of juice I got on this thing. Well, okay. That was interesting. I don't have any missions on the map. What? Okay, I think I I said it before and I have to go check my emails for sure. Um, and not only that, I could do the assassination mission, but I, if I can skip it and not do it at all, um, I would much rather do that, um, just because I kind of saw how difficult it is, but maybe I don't have an option but to go and do it. I hope that's not the case. I'm not even sure. I think that's con that is connected to some mission. Um, and I know I have to collect some more vehicles for Brucey and yeah, there's a lot of stuff that I, I can do. Oh, Ray? He's got work. He pays. That's about it. Yeah? Well, remember who made the introduction. Remember who brought you in. Don't you forget about me. If you want to pass something up to me, pay me some tribute. Sorry, Ray. I'm freelance. 
I don't buy into that tribute stuff. Welcome this work has many disadvantages, but uh, hey, at least it's tax free. Hmm. Yeah, you tell him, Nico. Right, let's see. I think I said I need to romance Carmen. Oh, seven emails. Helicopter battle in the skies. Why? Right, I want to read this. Oh, this is us, isn't it? Residents were frightened and feared a terrorist attack as deadly helicopter battles out over the skies of Liberty City. Delhi owner Sal Rabucci said, I'm making a fucking sandwich and <laughs> all of a sudden there's a fucking racket. So I say to my boy Vinny, yo, Vincenzo, go see what the fuck's that noise is. And he comes back in and says, Sal, there's two helicopters fighting in the fucking sky. And I say, get the fuck out of here, Vinny. <laughs> you better be smoking that shit. You're, you're a pistol. You're funny. Really funny. You stubborn mumbling little fucking prick. Imagine this being an actual newspaper. <laughs> and I threw the knife at him and ran outside. He threw the knife at him. Man, we have the best time. We make the best sandwiches. We want a good time and a good sandwich. Make your way over to Sal's. Is this an ad? <laughs> they just crack me up. Police say they are looking for clues as to the, uh, to who the pilot in the helicopter battle. Anyone with tips recommend to visit libertycity.police.com. What? <laughs> with more info. Well, oil refinery attack. That's us as well. Terrorists have struck up again. Police responded to reports of gunfire out the old oil refinery in the Actor Industrial Park in Alderney and found the bodies of several men. Most of the men were identified as known associates of the Pavano crime family, along with Pete Marchetti and Marco Bonaro, ripped their souls, both from Alderney. And News spokesman said that they are treating this as an act of terrorist terrorism and do not see any significant or organized crime link. That's bullshit. The terrorists were probably scouting for a target when they ran into these mobsters. A gunfight ensued and the terror they, they always, they blame it on terrorists, right? What? Clone sex? Not okay, says... What? Liberty City Police have arrested Dr. Jahan Klinzel? Klinzel? After raiding his laboratory and finding up to six clones of the doctor... At various ages, Clinton is charged with engaging in a sexual relationship with the clones, which range from 10 to 48 years old. The 16-year-old Dr. Clytel clone said, We all love each other, all of us clones. We are not devious pastor children of the future. We are a family. Who are you to judge? What the fuck? <laughs> McTony sues prison break. Chopper battle. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's the guy that we, uh, I think it was the previous episode that we got out or the one before that. An audacious prison escape, like something you might see on Weasel. Oh, so they, they bit into it because we tried to make it seem like one. O'Malley was returned from a deposition in which he gave evidence implicating his accomplices in the carrying out of those robberies. Police were particularly interested in testimony relating to Bucky Sligo. Bucky Sligo. Who recently died now authorities are concerned that all of his testimony may have been used somehow to facilitate his escape police warned that o'malley and his cohorts are armed and considered very dangerous hell yeah what Re lip reading me read my lips you what kids not attending lip reading skills of their parents <laughs> You may have heard the term read my lips, but according to academic study, lip reading cognition has been dropping. Children are able to read lips at the levels they could 20 years ago, which is resulting in serious problems later in life. Travel Trevor Hawking's lip reading American president noted, imagine if you mouth to a girl across the room, I want to eat you. <laughs> and she thinks he said, I want to beat you. They are very different. That's why... <laughs> We started the Liberty City Lip Reading B. The Lip Reading B has replaced the spelling B after the rising computer as a uh, computer assisted spell checking programs have made Americans unable to even write sentences without computer that's so true. Without computer assistance. The B's ended in a scandal yesterday as the C word was mount, mouthed repeatedly at judges who were also called pedophiles by angry contestants. <laughs> okay. Eddie Lau. Holy shit. What? Holy shit. Okay, we got we got some breaking news, everybody. Everybody, breaking news, breaking news. The serial killer that could have named 
that couldn't name what the serial killer they couldn't name has been found dead the killer is believed to have been killed up to 10 people over the last few months usually joggers at night time and strollers police believed he attacked the wrong person and was himself killed in a fight detective john atkinson told the newspaper it is very disappointing. I was just about to make an arrest. I'd solved the case. His name was Eddie Law. Low. He lived in Dukes. I was literally heading over to his house when the news came and another body had turned up. Obviously, the screenplay I am writing about the case will now have a slightly different ending in which I make the arrest and I will carry the <laughs> the subtitle based on the tr based on true events because that will make a better story. The mayor commented. This is not the LCPD's finest hour. We have a killer on the loose for months and no leads. Then they give him this stupid nickname, Eddie Lowe. Wow. What kind of nickname is that? Heads will roll for this. Oh, bad joke. I mean, people will suffer. Eddie Lowe was the killer's actual name. He was a loner from Dukes who apparently kept an account of his actions online. Here and on the popular network site, My Room. What? I want to find it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Because I want to find it out. My room. How do I get to my room? My room. Can I just search it up like this? No way. My room. Left over vacation. Friends without faces. My room, my room. Come on. Really? Nothing? Brucey's executive. <laughs> oh. Bulging packages. Do you remember the glory days? Friends without faces. Oh. I thought I could. I thought I could do it. The old fashioned ways. Okay. How do I go back? Okay. Oh, sorry. My room. I, I just wanted to read about the flipping stories, you know? <laughs> Maybe it's here somewhere. Let's see. Am I blind, you guys? Because I literally cannot see. I cannot see if there is an ad for my room. <sighs> we collect your personal information on this site. I find that info. Oh, That's disappointing. Anyway. Oh, Mili Kabelik. She wrote to me. Let's find out what she said. Oh, is this negative reply? Negative reply. From Russia with love. Okay. Okay. I'm not even going to read that. Let's see what mother said. My dearest son, I was thinking about you and I thought I write. I received nice email from your cousin. He says you had seen Florian Kravich again. Did he become a professional wrestler, as he say? He was always strange boy. Roman also tells me he has woman nice in his life and that maybe there was someone special for you too. Didn't we read this one? We read this one because we replied. What a dickhead I am. Okay, next one. Brucey. <laughs> Nikki boy, have you seen the latest on our, on our own reality? What's that all about? Where are my pack shorts, bro? How can... You? Okay. Shall we, shall we click it? Breaking news. Mini millionaire madness. Okay, okay, I just, from superstar to super size, who is he again? Ernesto. Okay, I just wanted to see, oh, American, whatever. Never mind, okay. Maybe I'm too late for that and they changed the page. I don't, oh, let's reply to him. Um. So what did he say? How many times did Day, do I have to email them <laughs> my back catalog of workout photos? I'm rolling at the top of my game and they're writing shit about Mr. 2.0 Tony McFucking Tony. Huh? More like Mr. Two Feet Tall Tiny McTiny. Oh, he's so petty. Teenage girls aren't interested in a midget with abs like cottage cheese. <laughs> I'd like to see him try to bench press for 100 pounds with his pelvis. Nobody's more VIP than me. I fucked more models than bulimia, baby. <laughs> the paparazzi are losing their edge. We need to get out of the clubs and put some bitches to the sword. Let's own it. Shit, Brucey. I'll check it out. You may not be as famous as these people, but you're just as much of an idiot. <laughs> For sure. 
Nico, it's an old fashioned friend of old fashioned old friend of yours. I just wanted to thank you for your help. My company has been very pleased with your work. Now try to stay out of trouble over to the wise people you are consorting with in Alderney are fools and they are not to be trusted. I know other people who will help you. Mm, I know that. Where's the person I'm looking for? Yeah, quickly. Nico, fuck you. It was, huh? It was two chicks. I never dated a man unlike you. See you later, Roman. What? Oh, oh, because we didn't hang out with him? I have no idea. Money waiting for you. Bank of North. Oh, God. I should really spend time deleting my emails, but I just can't be bothered. And the three emails are about... Uh, or something else, right? Bulimia lovers? Since when did it become acceptable for girls to be overweight? There's a lacy surprise. I home cremation. I really wanted to check my room.com. And I don't know why. Maybe my room no it still doesn't come up I just wanted to read about it my room online a place for anonymous friends wait what welcome to my room how it works cool new people cool new people okay tips for creating perfect my it's like my page but it's my room express yourself with the garish multicolored background use page Okay. Eddie Love Felt Slayer? Wait, but that's not him, is it? Is this actually him? Did we find it, guys? Did we actually find it? Oh my god, we did. Say hi. Okay, block rank. Okay, add to group. <laughs> Sex. Shaved or natural? No, no, no. Shower or gr shower or grower? Eddie shows his pickles to lots of people. <laughs> When did you last have sex with the hitchhiker this morning? How often do you masturbate every 10 minutes? Fuck, that's a lot. <laughs> Ever had sex with anything not human? Eddie will have sex with anything. <laughs> what makes you happy? Eddie feels nothing. No, because you're a psychopath. Uh, one more to describe you. Unhinged for sure. Finish the sentence. I wish I could have married my mommy. Oh, no, no. Gender, God. Hometown, everywhere and nowhere. Relationship status, lonely, here for self-promotion. Professional, <laughs> street cleaner, I guess. Likes pain, human suffering, mind games, wearing silk panties, surgical masks. And dislikes complacency, cops when people take a long time to burn. <laughs> Fucking hell. I just spat everywhere, I'm sorry. Uh, strengths, filting, skinning, and embalming. Nice. Weaknesses, none. Because <laughs> he's God. Best physical feature, eyes. Fucking scary eyes. Drink of choice, spinal fluid. <coughs> Ooh. Ooh. No, thanks. Drug of choice, choice PCP. <laughs> okay, don't even know what that is. Weapon of choice, can't decide. Do you have any nicknames for your genitals? Daddy's little cigar. What? I just pictured it in my head why it's called that. I got goosebumps, I got, I, thank you, no, no thank you. How many sexual partners have you had? Tens or hundreds, depending if dead people count. Okay, this is getting interesting and scary. I don't know why I write. Maybe I like to think of you thinking about me. Do you love Eddie? Nobody does. Do you like to look at yourself in the mirror? They say if you stare for long enough, you will see the person everybody else sees. I just see Eddie. Lonely Eddie. Get away from that dog, Eddie. Don't touch grandpa like that, Eddie. But they can't catch me. I'm like a shadow. But one you can't see. But they know about Eddie. My walls are covered in news clippings and excrements. Can you guys hear that? Fucking hell, it's a storm outside. <laughs> oh, I was like, because I got scared for a sec, especially reading this. Um, Where was I? Uh, with excrement. Okay, they keep trying to understand me, to get inside my head. They won't. 
I will get inside theirs with the hot spoons. Eddie is too smart, aren't you, Eddie? Always one step ahead. They locked Eddie up when he was little. You didn't mean to put the baby in the oven, did you, Eddie? Naughty Eddie. Cooked baby. I've never had any friends. I used to dig a hole and sit in it at recess. Do you like Eddie's pencil? Will you show me your scribble? One day I saw a red-haired kid pissing in my hole, so I eviscerated him and hung him from the flagpole. I went to school, a lot of schools. Eddie, what's the bed? Eddie, what's the bed? You think you're so clever, Lo. Am I going to have to make you stay behind again, Lo? No, 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 no. I still have his penis in a jar. Do you think you can make a wallet out of human lung? Maybe, Eddie. Just maybe. Mommy never told Eddie he couldn't put her head under the sand. I don't understand the word. The world, sorry. That girl at the hardware store who smiled at me when I was bullying all the chicken... When I was buying all the chicken wire and duct tape and told me to have a nice day. Why did she scream and slap me when I followed her home and whispered in her ear how I wanted to nurse on her? Silly, silly girl. Eddie removed her spine like he was filleting a sea bass. I'm good with my hands. That's what daddy used to say. Faster, Eddie. More soap, Eddie. When was that? Eddie finds it so hard to remember. Fuck, why did I do this to myself? Time is fluid and yet stagnant. One minute I'm sat at home nailing my scrotum to the kitchen table and the next I'm gouging somebody's eyes out with the coat hanger. Neat, niche, niche. How do you say it in English? Niche. 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 Said that the ability to remember is what distinguishes man from animal. They said that animals feel no guilt, but neither does Eddie. Do animals get paranoid? Do animals masturbate? I fucked a dolphin once. How? Look at Lowe's teeny weeny. It's like a peanut. In Indonesia, they decapitate people for masturbating. Do they really? They have the right idea. People are so weak and self-indulgent. Eddie will indulge with, <laughs> will indulge you with some fucking battery acid. They forget how fragile they are. That it only takes a second for me to set them on fire or cut their Achilles tendon or pull out all of their teeth. Actually, that takes a bit longer. Very tricky. I'm surrounded by scum and filth. I scrub and scrub and I scrub and I can't never and I can never get it off me. All the imbeciles and breeding infesting the world with the inferior spawn com complacency com complacency complacency. Am I saying that right? <laughs> How you uh, have you ever seen a person with no ears? Finish your vegetables, Eddie. Daddy, what is the screwdriver for? Where's your little brother, Eddie? In the pond. Three blind mice. Three blind mice. Do you want to play with Eddie? Will you spank me? Cut me with a razor and rub lemon juice all over me? Will you give me an enema with a plastic bag over my head? I'm into most things. Boys, girls, old, young. Everybody's face looks the same with no skin. Do you want to go to the woods with Eddie? Let me know. Goodbye for now. So many goodbyes. He has got zero fucking friends. Oh, there's a comment. Tasty side dish. Oh my god, I just found this website, Designer Slave, where they sell name branded clothing at huge discounts. Up to now, what the fuck? This is so anticlimactic. I was reading this fucking sickos thing and wow. Well, you guys, we found it. My mission has been accomplished for this episode. Um, I'm definitely going to go through my emails and delete. Well, all of them, if I can. Uh, and uh, maybe do one Bruce mission, because I think we can collect a car. I'm not sure. But stay tuned for that. Make sure you like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.